Hi guys, my name is Kathleen Laurel Sage. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Last weekend I was at the Festival of Quilts at the NEC in Birmingham and while I was there I was fortunate enough to um, teach some classes on the learning curve and we did this sort of thing. These are my wonky houses and they're for people that are just experimenting with free motion machine embroidery. Today we're going to have a go at making one of these using felt, glitter film, simple machine embroidery and hopefully at the end of it you will be comfortable and you will produce a wonky house with wonky stitching and it will look fantastic. Welcome back. I've got a selection of felts here which I'm going to use to do some of the wonky houses with. You can use hand dyed felts but you can also use the lovely bright strong colours that you could get from just an ordinary um, craft shop. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use some bonder web um, to actually bond up a selection of felts. So what this would mean was that you just cut a piece of bonder web, you are going to put it onto a piece of felt and you are going to iron that in position. Once that's in position we're then going to peel off the backing fabric and we're going to leave the glue on the felt and when we cut the pieces of felt that we're going to need for the wonky houses we'll be able to iron them into position so that they can't go anywhere while we're stitching them. To do that you just need to as I pull my ironing board into position, you just need a piece of felt and pop your felt down. Your bonder web shouldn't be coming away from the piece of paper like this, but I'm, I'm going to use it anyway. Pop that on your piece of felt like that. Let's position it all back up and give that an iron on a nice hot setting. And when it's all adhered to the felt, let it cool and then you should be able to peel off the paper and leave the glue on the felt. Now we can cut our wonky houses from this so I'm just going to pop that back out of view again and I've got my felt here but I've also prepared earlier lots and lots of other bits of felt and you can see I've had a really good cut into all of these but all the glue is on the back of them so I can now use these at random and at my choice to make my houses so all I want you to do is I want you to have fun I want you to go back to the days when you were a child and I just want you to think about rectangles triangles and squares because that's all these little houses are made of so there's my try my rectangle for my first house and we need something to put it onto. So over here I have a piece of S80 violin which is a fairly stiff violin. I've cut a piece of white felt which I'm going to pop on top of there and I'm going to make my little scene up on top of my white felt. So there's my rectangle going on for my main house. I now need a triangle so let's pick up a nice big piece of this red. Again it's already got the glue on the back so I can cut a triangle. It's easy. Pop it on. Don't put it on straight. They're wonky houses so put it on wonky. I'll turn it round so that we're doing it your way. And then I need a chimney and some windows. So I've got lots to choose from here. So we'll have a pink window. So here we go. My window going on. Just cut that little square. The thing you've got to remember is to make sure you put the glue side down, otherwise it's going to stick to the iron. We want a door, a nice simple door, we'll have a green door this time. So there we go, we'll cut a smaller rectangle for our door. Whoops! And that's really all you need. The only other thing you might want to add to this is a lovely product that I use an awful lot and it's called Glitter Film and it comes in lots of different colours and it's very sparkly, it's going to look lovely on here so I quite like the blue. Now with the glitter film it has a protective layer on top so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off the clear protective layer and it's just there to protect the, the glitter being scraped. 
I'm now going to use exactly the same method. I'm going to cut. Um, I'm going to cut a triangle out of this because I'm going to pop it on my roof there, and I'm also going to cut my chimney out of it. So I'm just going to cut a longer rectangle there, and I'm going to pop it in under there. Now. Once you've got an arrangement, we're going to iron that in place. So I'm going to take it to my ironing board again and a piece of baking parchment would be good. So I've got a piece here that's come off the back of the original bonder web and I'm now going to iron that on a hot heat. I'm going to keep the iron moving because we don't want to scorch the felt and hopefully that heat will go through the felt, through the glitter film, and it will adhere everything onto the white felt background, and we'll be ready for stitching then. So there we go. We move it, it's all stuck on there. Now, if you wanted to add some trees to this, again, quite simply, you cut a tall triangle this time, so we're putting a fir tree down. So there's my tree whoops upside down pop it there and then you can either have it sitting down level or you can pop in let's see what i can do here we can give it a trunk so that's way too big but we can cut that down and we can pop that under there and again you can see we're building up a nice little seam and that will now need ironing down and then we can stitch some detail into it later. Right, I've chosen this one to do because I love the lovely soft colours. I've loaded my machine top and bottom with black thread and I'm on free motion stitching, which means that I have to do the moving around underneath the machine. So I start off very gently and when I've got a little bit of speed up, I can wobble on and off the edges of the felt. And it doesn't really matter whether it's a really severe wobble or whether you're sewing a little bit too fast and you haven't got a lot of control, just carry on wobbling on and off the edge and you get this lovely effect to your wonky houses. Because after all, they're wonky. So it doesn't matter what you do with the stitch. You can really go to town at going all over the place almost and I promise you it works. So there's my roof. I'm gonna come down the side of my house, wonky and on and off of the felt. I'm going to come round, I'm approaching the door, so I'm going to come across the bottom of the door and then I'm going to come round the door and make sure I catch all those edges down. Come round my house, up the other side and I'm approaching my window now. So from the side of your house, come right across the middle of your window, put in that lovely piece of wooden window edging and carry on. When you get to the top, don't stop, just wobble back down over your stitches. Try not to be too precious about it, I promise you this works. I'm now going to put in some little leaves and I'm going to put a little flower in. If it goes wrong you can always put a button over this so don't panic. Back down and I want to get to my other house so I'm going to wonky off the house. I'm going to put some grass in. So make some straight movements to get these spiky pieces and then when you've got across that little void you're back on the other side of your house so you can wonky on and off that one all the way out the side of the house get to the roof round we come catching everything as we go now if you're really new to this you could be a little shaky and judgery like this but it still works so the good thing is, this is really good practice for when I'm trying to get somebody interested in free motion stitching and they tell me they can't do it and I say, well never mind, just go for it and let's see what happens. And they get lovely wonky houses, even more so than mine because they really are wonky because they're so nervous about doing it. So there you are guys. There's our wonky houses all stitched. So this is the finished result of our machine embroidery on the sewing machine and we've got our lovely wonky houses all stitched and they're now ready to have some embellishment done on them. 
You can see these other ones I've got on the table here. These haven't got any embellishment on them yet. They've all been stitched and they're looking lovely. But if you join me in the next video, we are going to learn some stitches, some simple stitches in hand embroidery, which are gonna bring our lovely wonky houses alive. Thank you for joining me. I really hope you enjoy sewing your wonky houses as much as I enjoyed sewing those. Don't forget to join me next week when we'll be looking at how to embellish what you've actually stitched this week. So get stitching your wonky houses. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe for free by pressing the red button and the bell below. Don't forget, if you're interested, you can buy a starter kit from my website mentioned in the description below. Thanks for joining me.